Hey, Dr. Todd Brennan, Healthy View Podiatry. Um, so today we have a cryo procedure. I know we've talked about it in the plat, uh, past cryosurgery. It's for neuromas. It's a very specialized procedure to help treat neuromas minimally invasively. So not going into the OR, opening it up and taking a neuroma out. Um, it's something that's very specialized that we offer here at our practice. So. I'm actually going to show you over here um, the ultrasound and hopefully we can get a good picture of it to give you an idea of what it looks like on ultrasound all right so the first thing you're going to see all right that little dome in the center is actually the metatarsal head all right and then we're going to scoot over more and then we're going to see the other metatarsal head okay so we know that the neuroma is between those two spots, all right? So now I'm gonna turn the, the ultrasound probe a little bit more. All right, so what we're gonna see here is the two white lines are the metatarsal head. So for her, it's the third and fourth metatarsal head. The black underneath of them is actually the bone. So the ultrasound doesn't penetrate the bone, so it's black. The black between the two heads can you point to that, Alexia? Maybe. Right in here? Yeah. That's where the neuroma sits, okay? Um, we can't see it too well. I'm trying to adjust the image here to see. Sometimes you can actually see the vessels that are like flicking, like a heartbeat. Um, I just almost had one, actually. You did. Kind of see, I mean, see the dead center there, the little circular thing. Yes. That's right in here. Yeah. So that's kind of what we're looking at. Okay. So this is kind of what we're looking for. So we'll be back here in one second once we actually start the procedure, so you can see a little bit better. between the third and fourth. Um, you can see how they're splayed out, which is from the anesthetic, but also the neuroma. Uh, do you feel anything at all? I can feel you pushing on me. Any pain with it? No. Okay. Good. So we just go with a little stab incision here right through okay and then that's all that's the only incision that we need here Tim can you grab me that probe please all right so this is the probe all right and just the tip of this is actually the freezing portion all right so what we're gonna do is clean it off first so you can see all right and then insert it in here how are you doing okay okay all right so now we're gonna punch through this the tissue Usually when I pull down, all right, if the toes move, sometimes I know I'm underneath the um, retin or not the retinaculum, the intermetatarsal ligament. Um, so we're not quite there yet. Um, how you doing? Okay. Uh -huh. Any pain? No. Okay. So again, we pull down. You can kind of see how the two toes go with it. All right. So generally speaking, before we check ultrasound, I have a good idea that I'm in the right area. Okay. So next up, we're going to check the ultrasound. All right. Now we're back at here at the ultrasound. So there's the metatarsal head circular thing in the middle you can see a far right of the screen the wiggling thing that's the probe all right as we move on over here there's the probe again the big white line um, we move over to fourth metatarsal head all right see the wiggling all right so the other view is going to be a little bit better here all right so hope we can get it <laughs> All right, so it's kind of off center a little bit, so I apologize, but um, let me see if I can adjust it a little bit better. All right, doing okay? Yeah, okay. Okay, so in the middle, the thing moving? Yeah. All right, that's the probe. The right side of that, the white area, that's, that's the fourth metatarsal. The white side to the left, which is kind of off screen a little bit, that's the third metatarsal. So we are smack dab where we want to be between those two bones, okay? So we verified it under ultrasound, we verified it clinically by, you know, how your toes are functioning and moving. Um, so now we know we're in the right area, all right? So now we do two two minute freezing cycles, which we'll start here in a second, um, and then we'll reconvene here in a, in a little bit.
All right, so that's it. So now it's all done. You can actually see some of the ice here on the probe. Um, it's actually pretty much frozen in her foot. Um, which is good because that means that ice ball kind of clicked with where we wanted. So we give it a little bit of wiggle, 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 and it slides right out, okay? So now what the next step is, is um, we've already drawn our blood pre-procedure, so we're gonna do the PRP and ozone in there. That's part of the whole cryozone plus. And then we'll wrap her up. The wrapping will stay on for 24 hours until she showers. Um, and then she'll be in a boot for two weeks. During the two weeks, no icing, no anti-inflammatories. Um, and then I check her back in two weeks. And usually for most, that's pretty much it. So it's great, quick, non-invasive, back on your feet pretty quickly. Um, and most people are happy with it. So uh, if you have an aroma, whether you're here or somewhere else in the world, give us a call. We've had patients from Canada, from Africa, from Asia. Because this is so specialized, Come in and see us, call us, we'll be happy to do it for you. Um, follow us on Instagram, like us on YouTube if you're watching. Um, thanks Tim, thanks Alexia, thanks to her up there. Um, <laughs> and uh, we'll see you next time around, thanks.